What's up everybody? Welcome to Rex Engine. In this video, I wanted to show everyone a new feature from Rex Engine version 1.25, which is the ability to set up a title screen with the press of a button. And in addition to that, there's some other cool features here that'll let you set up any types of scenes where the player might not necessarily be present, or where you're not doing traditional platforming action. So if you're looking to set up uh, story sequences, or a map screen, or a credit screen, or anything else where there's not traditional gameplay happening, there's some cool stuff in here that'll help you out. So without further ado, um, I'm here in Unity, and I've got the Rex Level Editor palette open. And if you're looking for where that is, it's under Tools, or rather, sorry, it's under Window, Rex Engine, Rex Level Editor. And with that palette open, there's a new option here if you make a new scene, which here I'll actually just make a new scene from scratch. Um, so I've set up a new scene, and there's an option here that says set up title screen, title scene, in Rex Level Editor. So if I click that, it's going to put a bunch of stuff on the stage, and it's going to give us a message here that says Rex Engine title scene setup. So we know it worked. Um, so the first thing is you'll see it's got this game logo here. And of course, this is just a default sprite, so you can swap this out with any logo. You can put in your own logo. Um, and the same goes for the text down here. Um, there is some text here that says that this was built with Rex Engine, and of course, you do not have to keep that there, although it would be awesome if you did. Um, and there's some text here at the top that says press spacebar to start, which is also a button that you can click to start the game. So we'll get more into that in a minute here. Um, oh, and the, the black here is also, the black canvas is its own background, it's a sprite as well. So you can change that to anything you like, or get rid of it, or whatever, I mean it's, you know, it's a malleable sequence, it's, it's a title screen. So the first thing that I want to show you guys after the graphics is there's this thing at the very bottom in the hierarchy called title script. And what that is, is it's, it's just all the code governing this title screen. And there's some features in here that we can use in other scenes as well. And they have a, there's these fields that are toggle on scene start, and we have an option for the player and for the UI. And there's a drop down where we can make those active or inactive or no change. So what these do is these let you decide if the player or the UI is going to be present when the scene first starts. And so for a title screen, where we don't want the player to be there, and we also don't want the UI, um, we don't want the score, or the timers, or the life bar, or the number of lives the player has, we don't want any of those to be present. Like, we just want this to be a pristine title screen. And so all we have to do to make those not appear is just set those to be inactive on the scene start. And likewise, there's an option right below it for toggle on new scene load which gives us the same options for the player and for the UI. And so what these will do is they'll make sure that when the next scene loads, the player and the UI, in this case, are activated. And so the idea is that without doing any code whatsoever, we can make it so for the title screen, when it loads, the player and the UI are not present. And that, assuming this takes us into a game sequence afterwards, the player and the UI are present in the next screen. And the last thing below that is load new scene. So this is options for what the next scene is going to be after the title screen. So by default, it's going to say demo one, which will work for the Rex Engine demo because that's the name of the first area. And under that, it's got advanced type. And what this is, is how you initiate loading the new screen. Um, so manual means that you have to set it up yourself. It means that you're doing somewhere in your own code, you've decided to tell it to load the next screen. On screen click, we'll make it load the new scene as soon as you click anywhere on the screen. And on key press, should let you press the spacebar key, um, or anything else that you map it to in the, uh, in the input settings to load the new scene. Um, and then all means that you can click on the screen or press a key or put in your own code or whatever. Um, so this title script here, I'm going to go into mono develop, which I think is something I haven't done yet in any of these videos. This is an extension of level script. 
Um, and LevelScript is something that is, it's built to be easy to extend. So if you want to make your own versions of LevelScript, or if you want to drop this in any scene that you like, um, you're free to do that. And so what that means is that by dragging out level script onto the stage, um, it's here in Rex Engine Abstracts level script, you can put this on the stage in any scene and have that do things like toggle the visibility of the player, or the UI, or any of those things. So you can use that not just in the title scene, but you can use that anywhere you want to in your game. And additionally, um, we'll see with title script, this is totally optional, but I'm, I want to start diving more into code for these things just for the people that want to do them. Um, the title script, or level script rather, has a virtual void called on exit scene, which you can override in your own scripts. And basically, that's just a hook, so you can put in anything you want when that happens. So basically, this knows when you're leaving the scene and you can have any code in that block. Um, so the title screen, in particular, is just calling reset data, which is, it's my own function, it's not something you necessarily need to worry about. Um, it's just something that resets the number of lives and health and whatever that the player has. So when you go into, an, uh, when you go into a new play, basically, it's putting all your data back at, at, at zero. And so the next thing I want to show you guys is um, I was talking about how there's this button here. Um, so you can click on this thing that says press spacebar to start. And it's got a, a new class on it called Rex Button. And this is really straightforward. It basically behaves like any other button in Unity. Um, you click on it. There's a slot for a sound effect that plays when you click on it. And by default, it's got a couple of interactions you can do. It's got, you can either call a function on any script, or you can open a URL. So if we're going to, um, let me actually unslot this really quick. So you can drag in a script to this field here that says call function on script. We can drag in any script from the scene to call the function on that script when we press the button. Um, so I'm just going to drag in title script to that field. We can see it slots in pretty nicely. And a dropdown with all of the public functions available in the title script class appears. Um, and so of all of these, I'm just going to call exit scene. And so what we've done here is we've set it up, um, we've set it up manually basically, so that this button when we click on it is going to call exit scene on title script. And that'll take us to demo one right here. So let's try this out really quick. Let's hit play. And so we can see the player is not visible here. Um, there's no gameplay happening. There's no UI. That's because we hid that in the toggle on scene start. Um, so because this is set to manual, if I click in most places on the screen, it's not going to play. Um, and also, I'm going to hit spacebar right now. That's also not starting the new scene. Um, however, since we wired that to our button here, if I click on this, it should load the game. And there we go. Um, so there you have it. Pretty, pretty straightforward video, I think. Um, but a bunch of new features in there for not only making a title screen quickly, which is really nice, but also setting up other types of sequences and quickly toggling the player or the UI on and off. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed.